All right, guys, KK4PYN back again with you for an unprecedented third video in one day. Um, I got to tell you, it's nice having all this free time because uh, I get to play radio, which is something that I definitely don't do enough. So I'm um, trying to keep it short still, but uh, and I should probably be doing this in our screen capture. There's so much other stuff going on here. Uh, it's nighttime now at my QTH. My security camera there, it's nice and dark outside. So that means that HF has changed. And the video that I uh, saw earlier, um, it was the middle of the day. And uh, 40 meters was garbage, uh, or at least it was on this receive. And um, 20 meters was just booming in here. So now it's about 7.30 at night and the sun's down and I'm actually doing something different because I'm having a problem with noise. I'm not sure if it's because of the way my mini whip is grounded or if it's the hookup that I have inside that little can or something else. Uh, I'm not running great cable either and I live in the middle of a suburban neighborhood, you know, lots of noise around. I'm right behind a big shopping center. Just... You name it, HF noise stinks. So what we're doing now, though, is I've disconnected the um, built-in, well, built-in, the power, come on, focus, sucker, the power injector that comes with the Mini Whip kit. And in that last video, I actually left the link to radio, amateurradioshop.nl. This is just something, you know, that comes just with the board. Um, I put the BNC connector on because it's just something I had hanging off, hanging around the, the, the shack. And then I put this little thing on here because the SDR Play RSP1A has an SMA on it. And I got to tell you, let me do a quick rant here. Let me aim this down. So this SMA connector that they got on here works just fine, except for the fact that it gets real loose real easy. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the hole for the connector comes right through this um, split in the case halves. And this thing just, look, you can see it moving there. Of course, you know, I'm on a cell phone, so focus is garbage, but it just constantly loosens up on me. Um, I think what I'm going to do is either dab some hot glue or epoxy behind there. I don't know. Um, it's not directly onto the board. There's a small like UFL or IPEX connector down there and about an inch and a half of some very small coax that leads down to the antenna connector on the board. But anyway, I digress. Um, we're going to fix that. So I just run, I'm running this, you know, cheap. Um, pre-terminated cable here with a little adapter just pretty common with SDR setups so let's put that back on there I'm trying to keep this one under 10 minutes but anyway so that's what I'm running and um, it works good enough for now so yeah you know I should probably do this screen capture there we go I'll refocus that um, so let me turn on some audio and show you what we got going on here. Same setup, mini whip, um, except we're on 80 meters now. There we go. Of course, you never know what you're going to hear on the air. Uh, thank you again, Jim. Yeah, we'll look forward to right back to you. Okay, Dennis. Uh, thank you. Uh, announced it there. Any other announcements to help the welfare? There's some net on 39, 38. Okay, it'll hit 63 degrees and uh, had a good old 60 degrees. So, you can see 80 meters. Just great. Just, I mean, great stuff here. 
Yeah, noise is a little bit high. Now, here's the great thing about SDR Uno, uh, the software that you get with... Uh, let me turn this down. The software that you get with the uh, SDR play, and I believe it's a free download. Don't quote me on that. Um, I think you just download it from their shop. Kind of like SDR Sharp and AirSpy. It's from digital. Anyway, um, here's the here's one of the great things about it. <clears throat> a, it's pretty much all the controls are out here in the open. Um, you're not fighting through menu levels to to find your controls. Here's all your main controls. Um, you know all your different um, modulation settings or demodulation settings, demodulation, demodulator settings. Jeez Louise. Um, and here's some filtering. So, like, right now, let's crank this up. And we can open this filter up. And you can hear the difference. I keep it pretty narrow. Um, also, we've got the built-in uh, over here. Um, medium wave and FM. Notch filters. There's one for digital audio broadcast. Anyway, so but you're getting a lot of information too. Here's all your band selection. Here's a analog S meter. Turn that down again. Goes up and down. Analog S meter, and then of course you got all your signal info over here. Um, just <laughs> great stuff. But here's another thing that I really like. I when I'm fighting this noise, even when I'm just using the dongle. Um, Qmar, yeah, uh, memories too. It's got memory, which is nice. Uh, they're actually coming out of the scanning feature here shortly. Um, well, let's see if I can squeeze this into three minutes here. So let's turn this back up. I'm going to show you up here how we can mess with the filters to get this a little bit cleaner. If you lock in on where the actual signal is. You can get rid of some of that stuff. Which is pretty good. So, um, also we've got uh, noise reduction down here, noise blinker, and AGC controls. Now, I haven't played with these yet. Um, also, your meter selection peak RMS. Um, these notch filters are affecting the filter width over here and shape and stuff like that but I have not messed with them like trying to really set them up so I will tell you that this medium wave um, FM filter works great for getting rid of those images turn that back down again um, so I don't know if it's just my location let's click up to 40 here how are we doing on time meh okay it's not that bad right now let me click down here into the CW band for all you CW aficionados, as Dave Jones would say. Turn this up. Let's listen to the CW on this thing. It's just great. The filters really set up good. Just... There we go. And freezes up, of course. You saw that spike up here on the uh, system thing. It was doing something in the background there. But at any rate, um, I'll mute that. Running out of time here. I try and keep them under 10 minutes so you guys don't fall asleep on me. But anyway, um, I can't say enough. I played with SDR Uno at uh, at Hamcation, and this software and the SDR Play um, receiver is great. Um, I'll make another video with it on another antenna and show you up into the VHF and stuff, but this thing is great. So I'll leave links in the uh, description down there for all this stuff to get it. But in the meantime, you guys stay tuned. There's more to come. 73.